A Ugandan feminist, Dr. Hilda Tadria Kapshenga, had a vision to mentor Ugandan women through training and adding value to their livelihoods. Why I decided that we must have an organization that empowers girls to speak out, that empowers girls to be able to say violence is not a normal and therefore I will not take it. We trained girls to say to parents, I am valuable as a girl, I have rights. And so we started to work on self-esteem. Dr. Tadria says she worked passionately for the empowerment of women. She attributes the foundation of her success to her late husband, Tadria, who respected, empowered women to the hilt. He valued people. And because of that, I, I learned to value people even more. I learned not to be afraid to talk about the abilities of men to do things that women do, the abilities of women to do what men can do. In 2008, together with her husband Tadria, she founded Mentoring and Empowerment Program for Young Women, a platform aimed at strengthening the capacity of young women and girls to live a fruitful life. What I found at Mempro, they actually groom young girls to be independent. So I started making jewelry in my first year, which is in 2013, and now I'm making liquid soap. All that is happening here at Mempro. Do you want to know about your rights? Do you know how to fight for your rights? Do you know where to go when your rights have been violated? Mempro is the place for you. A master's degree holder from Cambridge University who once worked as a research assistant at Makere University, Dr. Tadria says girls and women empowerment is a question she keeps trying to answer in her feminism-based endeavors. When they hear you're a feminist, they think you're spoiling girls. But when we work with girls, it's create, um, and I will use the word product, to create a product that Uganda can be proud of. Today when I go to, info, to institutions and I find a men girl, the employer comes to me and says the men girl is a different type of employee. Hilda has now retired as the men pro executive director after mentoring a number of women to take charge. I start something, I don't start it for me. I start it for community. I don't want it to have my identity because anything you start that has your identity will die. Most times founder members kill their own organization by their inability to exit. I know that my team understands what stewardship is. I know that the resources they have, they are going to be good stewards. That's why I can be confident to say I can hand over. Anne Nkutu is main pro board chairperson who describes Dr. Hilda Tadria as a practically ambitious woman, hardworking, and creative person. Anybody that knows Dr. Tadria, her feminist credentials, you know, are without doubt. She does what she says. She endeavors to live the principles that the feminist movement espouses. And that I find very admiring about, or very admirable about her. She is knowledgeable, she is valuable, but she has a passion for her work. And her passion, yeah, can <laughs> just made us, or made me also, get into loving to work, to work with young women. She has taught me that in this world, like you don't have to react on everything happening. You just sit back and watch it, study it, internalize it and then know how you are going to counter it without panicking. According to Dr. Maggie Chigozi, the former Uganda Investment Authority boss and former Minister for Ethics, Maria Matimbe, uploads Dr. Tadria's efforts aimed at empowering the girl child. Two people now we are talking, thank you Hilda for giving these women authority. Because now they can talk. We congratulate Dr. Tadria who was the brains on the success story that we see. Our girls are empowered, our girls are informed, our girls are becoming entrepreneurs, and we are very proud of that. Rise up, rise up.
Nobody.